Hello, my name is Bruce Rosen. I'm here today to share findings from an exciting new study that examined the extent to which Israeli Arabs, Arab citizens of the state of Israel, are working as doctors, nurses, dentists, and pharmacists. My partner in the study is Sami Miari. Sami is a professor at Tel, at Tel Aviv University and Yale University. He's also the founder of Israel's Arab Economic Forum. My own background is that I'm a professor at Hebrew University. I'm also the founding editor of the Israel Journal of Health Policy Research. Our most striking finding is that Israeli Arabs are well represented in the medical profession. Israeli Arabs account for 21% of the overall population of Israel, and among physicians, they account for 23%. This is quite different from the situation of minorities in the United States. Blacks account for 14% of the overall population of the U.S., but only 5% of the physicians there. Hispanics account for 19% of the overall population of the U.S., but only 9% of American physicians. In Israel, as in the United States, medicine is among the most prestigious professions. And yet, despite the ongoing tragic conflict between Israel and several of its neighbors, within Israel, almost a quarter of the doctors are Israeli Arabs. 60% of these Israeli Arab physicians are under age 40. Their, su this, their success is due in large part to their hard work of these young people to get into medical school and then to successfully pursue medical studies. They've also had the support of their families and their communities and their villages, both, both emotionally but often financially as well. Uh, this slide highlights a particular Arab village where it has a very high rate of uh, young people who have become physicians. Supportive government policy has also played an important role. Now, Israeli Arabs are also well, well represented in other health professions. They constitute over a quarter of dentists, over a quarter of nurses, and almost half of the pharmacists. This diversity in the healthcare professions is important for several reasons. First of all, it promotes shared society. Just as Jewish doctors take care of Arab patients as well as Jewish patients, so too Arab physicians will care for Jewish patients as well as Arab patients. In addition, the diversity enhances the capacity of the system to give culturally responsive care. While in most cases, it's fine to have a physician from, from a different uh, background. There are some situations, some people, some medical conditions where it's particularly important to have someone who understands you culturally um, as well as your religious background. And third, um, minority um, involvement in the health professions has been an important vehicle for economic and social mobility of the minority group as a whole. Now, the high representation that we find for Arabs in the health professions does not characterize most other professions in Israel. For example, in law, Israeli Arabs account for only 8% of the lawyers. The uh, pr prevalence the, 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 of Israeli Arabs in the health professions has actually increased over the past decade. In our article, Sammy and I explore why, the, why health has been such a particularly successful vehicle for social mobility for the Arab population, why health, and also we look into why the increase. Now, one of the reasons for the increase is that it's part of a broader surge in the number of Arabs pursuing higher education, both in Israel and outside of Israel. Within Israel, over the past decade, there's been a doubling of the number of Arabs um, attending colleges and universities. In part, this has been due to deliberate government policy to promote equity and inclusion in higher education. For the health professions, aside from nursing, studies outside of Israel have also played a major role. In the case, um, um, some of those studies have been in the Palestinian Authority, sometimes in Jordan, and uh, sometimes in Eastern Europe. In the case of medicine, Eastern Europe has been particularly important. Um, now, recently, um, Israel realized that while many of those uh, medical schools in Eastern Europe are very good quality, others less so. So two steps have been taken as a result of that. One, after, um, with, with uh, notice of several years in advance, 
Israel will no longer recognize um, diplomas from those 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 medical schools as um, as qualifying the graduates to take the licensure exam for medicine in Israel. In addition, for those who've already studied in those universities, those medical schools, as well as other medical schools abroad, the Ministry of Health has instituted programs to upgrade the graduates so that their skill level is, uh, is, is, is stronger. More information on this issue, as well as some of the other issues I've touched upon, please see the article that Sami and I wrote. On this slide, you have both the URL for that article and also my email address. Please be in touch if you have comments, questions, um, interested, interested in uh, perhaps a Zoom meeting about this issue. Uh, we're very accessible. In conclusion, please join me in my hope that Arab Jewish cooperation in Israeli healthcare will inspire greater cooperation in additional fields as well, both within Israel and beyond. Thank you very much.